video uh, we can take a look into the backup process of cloudera manager so as we know the cloudera manager is a web-based service so which is used for managing our cdh cluster and in backend it is using some uh, database so it can be postgres mysql or oracle so by default it's using uh, postgres as backend database so in order to take the backup of this cloudera manager so definitely you need to take the backup of this database so it can be uh, uh, postgres mysql or oracle so based on that so you need to uh, do the appropriate db backup <coughs> mechanism okay and the second is uh, there are some configuration files again not much under etc cloudera ssm uh, server there will be some files and uh, slash var lib also you will contain a couple of uh, file directories so these <coughs> directories along with uh, the backend db backup okay so it will be okay for you to recover this cloudera manager in case of any failure so we will <coughs> look into this one by one and uh, uh, so first we will check the database backup so here again as i said it can be an embedded database or custom db so it's based on the time during the installation time so which one you have selected so here I am demonstrating with an embedded DB so but that is nothing but a Postgres and uh, we need to do the backup of uh, these two directories okay and uh, we need to uh, in case of recovery so we need to restore these files to our new Cloudera manager server <coughs> and uh, so if, if you are using, using embedded database or, or if it is a custom database also so you can see that database credentials so again if it is a customized database you will always have the credentials for administrator so otherwise you can get those values from these files okay so db dot properties inside the etc cloud or ism server contain uh, that ssm or the main database cloudera manager is using <coughs> then db management properties file contain the database credential for the other cloudera management service so these two contain the username and the password for, for connecting the Cloudera manager with that um, Postgres DB or whatever the DB. And uh, if you use embedded DB, so you need to have uh, the super user uh, private, uh, credential. So those information you can get from this file. So slash var lib Cloudera SSM server DB data generated password.txt. So these are the files you need to uh, check before uh, proceeding the backup policy I mean the backup process okay so we will uh, look into this one by one so let's uh, log into our cloudera manager uh, server using putty then go to the directory etc then cloudera SSCM server and inside that you can see the files db properties and db management properties these two files you need to take the backup because so this file contain the password details and other uh, i mean the password username and other details so if you look into this file you can see the db type is postgres and it's running on 7432 and uh, username is uh, and db name is this one and the password is this one so you can try to connect uh, to this uh, db and if you just want to take the pass uh, backup of this SCM, so you can also do that so for connecting that so we can just verify whether you are able to connect psql iphone u so what is the username then iphone p so because uh, embedded db may not be running with the default port so you need to specify the port number then again uh, see what is the database name you can use the db name is this one okay so this is the db name <coughs> So what else? Uh, okay, fine. I think this is okay. And uh, the credentials, password is here. Yes, I am able to uh, connect by using SSC. And uh, if I want to know what are the list of users, yes. So you can see uh, <coughs> these are the some of the user SSCM, Rman, NAVMS, NAV, then Cloudera SSCM. So you can see this is the super user privilege and create role create DB all is associated with this particular user and uh, here i uh, connected with using ssm but again it is a limited 
<coughs> privilege only and uh, we can just connect and uh, see what are the tables etc so you can do uh, in a okay uh, i think uh, sorry it's not like that connect sscm right so then uh, if i if i use hyphen dt i can see what are the tables inside that so inside that there are a lot of tables here right so we are taking the backup of all these tables and uh, these values okay and uh, here also you can see uh, management properties so inside that there will be a lot of other uses like a cloudera management service you, you might know the cloudera management service so the management service has uh, a lot of other components like uh, <coughs> arm manager then uh, activity monitors like that so those credentials will be there by default inside this okay activity monitor username then db name then password uh, like that uh, report manager navigator so these are all uh, default uh, credentials that uh, cloud ram manager is using so this is the one uh, directory so we need to take the backup of uh, this directory so this is slash etc cloud ram sscm server so you can take the backup like uh, go to this one uh, some de location so you need to have a root user privilege so i'm just using tar uh, set cvf then <coughs> sorry dot tar dot gz so i'm just compressing and this is the directory right so i got those files in a compressed uh, form so this is the one backup and then uh, i need to uh, get the uh, super user as you you have seen like a uh, ssm server so this is the, that is the user uh, super user like uh, cloud or ssm so we need to get the uh, credentials or whatever the password for this one so for that there is one more directory slash var lib cloud or ssm server hyphen <laughs> db then data and inside that there is a file generated password so just open that or just read that content so this file contain the uh, cloudera sscm user credential okay so cloudera sscm is a super user so you can uh, use this user and uh, this password so you can connect <coughs> with and also verify whether this is working so psql hyphen u what is the user and uh, hyphen p so what was the port we use this Three, I think it's a three four eight two. Sorry, seven four three two. Hmm. Then, I find D any any database you can use suppose. Yes. Then it asks for password. Then give that password. Yes. We are able to uh, connect or we are able to uh, connect and like that. So back. So all the database are able to view so uh, here i i will show you how to take okay so there are different ways to do the backup then uh, one is uh, pg dump okay so i'm just okay so i'm just going out then uh, i get slash etc cloud error is a cm server db dot properties so just make a note of uh, this password somewhere inside the a notepad okay and the username is ssm password is ssm so if you want to take the uh, backup of ssm db only so you can use the pg underscore dump then hyphen u what is the username this is ssm hyphen p what is the port 7432 then iphone d that is a database <coughs> then ssm underscore dump dot okay so i'm just uh, i think uh, iphone iphone database is that so okay i think this option is not needed okay just write the database name yes now it's asking for the password use this password so this time i am taking the dump with this user so 
uh, whatever the uh, uh, backup of this one will be saved into this file so if you just check the content this one look like it. so if you just uh, read that so that looks like a text file and contain all the uh, schema related information so this way you can take the backup of each and every database or else if you want to take the entire database so you can use the pg underscore dump all and uh, whatever the username so this time you require a super user privilege why because i am taking the backup of entire data set so you can just check that cat uh, slash var <coughs> lib cloudera ssm server db then data then inside that uh, there will be some file like generated password dot txt okay so pg underscore dump all then hyphen u this is the username then iphone p this is the port number is 7432 and then uh, i'm just writing here is uh, uh, pg underscore complete dot dump <coughs> okay so it's asking about the password so you save use this password so again use this one okay so i think uh, uh, around uh, 2 3 plus 5 plus 3 8 databases has taken backup the complete backup is available <coughs> under this file pc complete pg underscore complete uh, dot dump so it contains the text file and uh, uh, <coughs> so you, this file you can uh, use as a backup so i have taken the etc cloud icm server and the next is i can take i need to take slash var lib cloud era ssm server so this directory also we can take the backup okay so i'm just taking tar uh, set cvf cloud era underscore uh, lib dot tar dot gz to this location okay so that's also done so now we have got uh, all the all the backup okay so uh, okay so by using this backup so we would be able to uh, recover our uh, in case of any failure so i have taken the complete uh, backup of this db then uh, these two directories okay in the next video we will uh, see how to uh, restore it from restore uh, uh, this cloud manager service by using this backup hope uh, you are able to follow me and uh, so please write in the comment box also subscribe thank you bye